Hello, uh, this video is going to be about script writing and more specifically about software that you can use to write your micro budget film or um, you can even use it to do a few other things which we'll go into. So the, yes I know my desktop's very messy um, and Bruce Campbell there is covered in blood but I'm a messy guy. Um, so <clears throat> the program we're going to use is called Keltex or Celtex, depending on how you want to pronounce it. The industry standard uh, programs that are available are, you know, they cost quite a bit. I mean, even Final Draft costs £150. Now, I've used that program and it is um, quite impressive, but even still, I actually prefer to use this uh, little program. It's freeware, it's open source, and it's uh, it's a really great program for writing your scripts. Now, <clears throat> when you start, uh, by the way, you can download it. Um, the description, the link rather, will be in the description bar. Now, when you start up Celtics, you can be asked to do you, to use a bunch of templates. The one that you're probably most want to use is the film template which we will click there we go and this is basically for writing your screenplay if you look in the left hand side you have a project window which you can rename so let's rename this to Tomorrow Man, which is the working title of the micro budget film I'm working on, and underneath you have your screenplay, which you could rename again maybe as your first draft. You can also right click on uh, this window and you can add um, oh, you can add items. If you look here, there's a whole list of different items that you can add, which this is what I'm saying where the the, uh, the program goes way above and beyond just a script writing program. There's loads of things that you can do with it. Um, you can add in descriptions of wardrobe, details, all your contact details about your actors, locations. You can do... Um, <clears throat> uh, you can basically man-manage almost every aspect of a production you can um, also outline set designs production notes uh, and a whole bunch of of stuff which is really really useful um, so one of the things that I've found uh, that's quite good to add is just add a plain text file and we're going to put out we're going to call this outline uh, <clears throat> and um, here we go we're on the outline now this is just a text file it works just like a, a word processor and what I think the, you're best doing is when we go from the idea that we talked about before, you know, coming up with a central theme, you then want to come up with an outline as to what your film is about. Now, this is the step before doing your first draft. And your outline will really just be, well, when I do it, it's um, a no-nonsense prose style. It's just a, a description of what happens. So... Um, keep it as simple as possible you're not really trying to show anybody this outline this is just for yourself to get your <clears throat> ideas more solidified and you know you can you know for example um, you can start off with main character I'm doing this I'm typing with one hand because I'm holding my microphone uh, oh, spelling fail 
character lives in well let's see an apartment and then we just see waking one night he meets his future self okay so <clears throat> You would just go through your entire outline like that, just very no nonsense, um, no nonsense descriptions of what you're wanting your film to be, and this could just be one paragraph. Or it could be a page. Um, this is different from writing an outline to get a script greenlit by like Hollywood. If you were going to do that, you would do what's called a treatment, um, but this is just an outline for yourself. So once you've done your outline, the next stage you could either jump on to do your first draft or you could do another text file and you could do your treatment. Now your treatment is basically going to be almost like um, a short story. It might be, it depends how long it's going to be. If, if your micro-budget film or your film if you're uh, of any budget, if it's only going to be 10 minutes long, you probably don't need to, read, uh, to write a treatment. But if you do, <clears throat> there's no real rule of thumb as to how long it should be. Um, if it was an hour and a half film, you know, it might be, I don't know, 20, 30 pages long. And it's just a rough outline again of what your script is going to be but it is really used to give someone an idea of a script that you're going to be writing and you may use a lot more art, you know artistic devices to convey what you're doing so it will hopefully make more sense when you read it and it'll be more enjoyable for the reader um so, but I would jump straight from the outline to the first draft, to be honest, because the treatment phase is really for just getting people on board your uh, project. And if it's a small project, you won't really need to do that. So if we go on to our first draft, <clears throat> um, let's see how much time we've got left. I don't know how much time we've got left. Well, I'm just going to finish this up anyway. Um, the script writing uh, facility on this is excellent um, I'll put a link in this description bar with what the um, industry standard script format is now while I say industry standard it's not exactly the same uh, I'll, I'll put another link as well for you to go and read examples of scripts because that's a really great um habit to get into is reading other people's scripts and you can get used to the format and the sort of language <clears throat> so um, if we look up here at the top you've got just briefly these are the types of, these are the parts of your script that you'll have okay so your scene heading for example if it's an external shot you would type in external Let's see, uh, it's a street. Okay, so just something simple like that. Then you would go on to, you'd hit enter and it would change to action, but you can change this to anyone you want. Now action is just a slight description of what's going on. So you could just basically say that um, something, you know, a very slight one sentence description of the street and then whatever's happening in that street. And then... You can move on to character. You can use the tab button, um, incidentally, to change what type of, uh, what part of the script you're wanting to edit. You put your character, put your name. So let's see, our character's called Tom. And then that, when you hit enter, that would instantly go to dialogue. And, um, and Tom could say something to someone else. So that's basically this program. It's, it's really excellent. There's a whole bunch of other stuff you can do with it. You can really use it to manage your whole movie project. So, and it's free. So download this, uh, Keltex or Celtex. I'm never sure how to pronounce it. 
and we'll move on from this and we'll talk a little bit about how to develop your script. All right, thanks for listening.